Welcome to Sports Fan Up here on this Thursday night, November 13th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. Let's start you off up in the Bell Center here up in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, where the Boston Bruins square off against their arch nemesis, Montreal Canadiens, after trying to recover from that 6 1 loss. And things look good in the first period for the Boston Bruins as Dougie Hampton got a Popeye goal, his fourth goal of the season. When it says from Loyal Erickson, 7 assists at 1604, first period, 1 nothing faded to Boston Bruins. And things look good for the Bruins in the first period. But in the second period, it things took a turn toward the Canadians' way as Dale Weiss gets a power play penalty shot goal with a rear shot goal. 1 1 to score, 2 3 1. And then, 13 minutes of the second period, Nas Ellis gets a back at a shot. Fifth goal season with assist of Freddie Gallagher. Fourth assist to make it 2 1 favorite Canadians. And then, at 14.57, Max Petre snapshot goal with assist of Dale Weiss and Mike Weaver. 3 1 in favor of the Habs. And then in the third period, Max Petre again, 509 and a tip in goal with assist of David D. Shannon Aces. 4 1 in favor of the Canadians. And then, Jerry Sakaka, power play goal with a wrist shot. With assist from Nathan Bilal first and Los Elves third at the Boston Moons and that road trip got blown out 11 and 2 as they lose tonight to the Montreal Canadiens 5 to 1 here as now they fall to ten and seven of the season here. Ten and eight. As the Bruins Need to realize what is going on, and Bruins fans do not panic because the Bruins will try to sweat this out and realize what is going on here, and let them Bruins be patient, and they'll get it together. As next up for the bees, they will be back at T Garden on Saturday afternoon for a date with the Carolina Hurricanes here. Okay, let's take a look at other scores around the NHL here. 2-2 two, two Peters in St. Louis. St. Louis Blues and the Nashville Predators. 3-3 three, three tie. 13-37 left in the third period. Minnesota Wild leader the Buffalo Sabres. 5-2. 17-23 left in the second period. Calgary Flames lead in Arizona. Coyotes 2-1 in the 17-23 left in the second period here. 5-22 left in the first period. Ottawa Senators are leading the... Nope. Ottawa Senators are late at the end of the Oilers. 2 to nothing here. And the Dallas Star of the Los Angeles Kings will get underway at 10 30 p.m. And in Los Angeles. In the final to the shootout, Kyra Avalanche defeat the New York Rangers 4 to 3. Winnipeg Jets defeat the Carolina Hurricanes 3 to 1. And the San Jose Sharks defeat the Tampa Bay Lightning 2 to 1 here. Alright, let's take a look at NBA scores here on this Thursday night. We got 7.50 left in the fourth quarter. Sacramento Kings lead at the Memphis Grizzlies. 101 to 83. As winning game so far has got 25 points. We got 7.30 left in the fourth quarter. Chicago Bulls lead the Toronto Raptors. 86-71 with 7.30 left in the fourth quarter. 7.32 left in the third quarter. And it's a blowout in the making. There, Dallas Mavericks are leading the Philip 76ers. 80 to 37. And Stuart Nowitzki scoring far has got 17 points. And the Gold State Warriors at the Brooklyn Nets will get underway out in Oakland at 10.30 p.m. here. Hey, Thursday night football here. Oh, gosh. And it is a battle for second place in the AFC East. And the winner of this will be having a two-game deficit on them. A one-and-a-half game deficit on the New England Patriots. In the AFC East here, and the Buffalo Bills are leading the Miami Dolphins 6-3. Nope, they just get a field goal. Now, the Bills lead it 9-3 here, as after Caleb Sturge just got a field goal to make it 3 nothing in favor of the Dolphins, the Bills got on the board on it. Three dead coming in field goals, one for 33 yards, make it tight at 3-3 in the first quarter, then 
One from 21 yards, make it 6-3, and then at 46 yards, make it 9-3 in favor of the Buffalo Bills. Here, as there he stands at the Buffalo Bills, lead the... Miami Dolphins, 9-3, as Kyle Orton's got 60 for 23 for 147 yards, while well, Ryan Taylor, 60 for 22 for 148 yards. Here. All right, let's take a look at some sports news here. November is Clayton Kershaw's month two. To go along with pretty much everything, the Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher is nominated from April to September. The Chicago Bears are finally put on a fight. Only this time is on Twitter with the fans after allowing at least 50 points for the second straight week to the Green Bay Packers. Bears wide receiver Brandon Marshall has challenged the Lions fans to a fight. One soccer official asked for a potential World Cup post for personal favors, like a job for a relative and found them really granted. Homestead, Florida, Kevin Carvick's car owner, crew chief, and wife were choked up after the win that secured his entry to the championship round of the chase of the Sprint Cup. Roger Federer of Switzerland returns to the ball during his tennis match against Andy Murray of Britain at the ATP World Tour Finals at the O2 Arena in London on Thursday. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver wants the United States to get with the Times in regard to sports betting in an op-ed posted on Thursday on the New York Times website. Silver pointed out to Europe's legal sports betting market and worked at Congress. Holly Holm pulls out a UFC debut. In Washington, the Detroit Pistons center Andre Dunham sat in his locker room cubicle and stared straight ahead, a red towel over his head. John Daly has rubbished the formation of a task force in some ways and put it out recently around the U.S. in the Ryder Cup. Tom Thibodeau wants Derek Rose to worry about Derek Rose. Uh, rather than scrutiny his point, guard it with face in whatever your game, the Bulls head coach wants to Rose to focus on himself and ignore outside pressures. And next, CC Sabafia and Cliff Lee, we're going to finally hear their deals after their winning the Cy Young. The Indians have time on their side with Kluber. Adam Duck, who has the also shuts up and kept the New York Giants pennant winning teams in the 1950s, went on to manage the team to a pennant in San Francisco back in the 1962, but it was later shot about conference over at two to black players. Dead at the age of 92. The Arizona Cardinals lock up defensive coordinator Tom Bells. After experience in his first home win since returning to Cleveland Cavaliers, LeBron James will try to deliver the number of victories coach his home coming in. And the Boston Celtics welcome LeBron James and Cleveland Cavaliers to Monday at the TD Garden. In Dallas, Texas, Philip is the Sixers head coach, Brett Brown, throws a curveball during his pregame talks with members of the media Well, discussing his lineup, and no sooner had Oklahoma City defeated Boston on Wednesday night that the Celtics' this point was washed away with anticipation of Friday night's game at home against the Cleveland Cavaliers, the big three of LeBron James, Kevin Love, and Curvin, so that'd be a good, good game tomorrow night. And that's made for sports right up on this November 13th, 2014 on a Thursday night. Pay away, save you a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow right after the Celtics. Can't mention that the guy. Good night. Stay tuned.